Rugby Australia uses these major events in a couple of different ways. One, we know that we're going to get mass audiences turning up to, to watch the games. But it's also a way that we can attract schools uh, and people who aren't traditionally engaged with the game down to uh, take part in these skill sessions or, or rugby learned play sessions, uh, such as get into rugby. So get the kids out here, um, get them moving and give them a good experience of uh, some fun rugby skills and drills. And uh, yeah, obviously I get to hang out with a few of the Aussie Seven Stars, so uh, that's pretty cool as well. It's just go out there and have a go. Like, to be honest, you're never going to know if you, unless you go and try it. And that was similar to me when I first started rugby. I had always watched on the side and I thought, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go. And, Ten years later now, I've travelled the world, I'm a professional athlete, so, but I just still think if I didn't take those initial steps and have that go and try and new sport, I probably wouldn't be in the situation I am today. When I started, I was only 16 and I'm only 20 now, so I haven't really been playing for too long, but I think the friendships I've made um, throughout my career in only the four years that I've been playing has been unbelievable. You know, we've become such a family and then travelling the world, I never thought I'd be able to travel so many places. The contact side, the fitness side, everything didn't kind of... It's so good and I love it. I guess for me it's definitely the challenge, but it's also the, the network and camaraderie you have with your teammates. There's always a, a sense of mateship when you step on that field and yeah, it's a very challenging sport and it, it tests the, the athlete to the ultimate level. Really looking forward to get on down, hopefully plenty of kids turn up and they can take something away from this experience today.